do you think? How would Russ fit in Miami? Terrible fit. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> First of all, you got two ball dominant, two ISO players, two headstrong players on the same team. I, <laughs> I mean, Jimmy's not as ball dominant as Russ is, but go ahead. But Skip, he left yeah. Philly to be the guy. He did. He could have stayed in Philly and had a better situation and got max dollars. Playing with Joel and B, playing with uh, 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 Ben Simmons, he could have stayed there. And Been to your last point, he was the one guy who said, "I'm going solo, yeah. man." Going solo yeah. and skip in crunch time. Mm -hmm. Who was their closer? They gave the ball to Jimmy Butler. They did. And they either went pick and roll with him and Joel and B, or they let him go ISO one on one. They did. And he said, "No, I'm gonna forego that. I'm going to Miami, where I got no chance mm. of winning a title, but I'm gonna be the guy." And you put he and Russ together. Who Jen mentioned in the last three years, he hadn't got out of the first round, but he did average a triple double, Jen. You know, the yeah, triple doubles. You're right. That, about boy, that's that. a great deodorant skip. They mask oh, everything. Oh, for three with three triple doubles. Yeah, but see, we, that's what we were talking mm. about. See, we ain't going to talk about the other. Mm. We ain't going to talk about he went out in the first round the yep. last three years, mm -hmm. but he averaged a triple double. Mm. We didn't think that could ever be done again. Nope. Skip, <clears throat> if you take on Jimmy the next four years, <laughs> $312 million between Jimmy Butler mm -hmm. and Russell Westbrook to sure. go where? Mm. To do what? Now, maybe you needed to sell tickets. D. Wade is retiring. Sure. Skip, if Miami, Skip, it's, ho it's hard to hold people's attention in Miami. You know, they got so much going on. Mm. They got them clubs. You know, your boy be down there a couple times popping them bottles. They got the beaches. They got all the art deco. Oh. Mm. How you going to get people to come there if you mm. lose it? Mm. I mean, first of all, they had a hard time getting people to come when they were winning going to finals mm. every single year. You and weren't popping bottles that night before that Super Bowl, were you? <laughs> nah, nah. I, I remember you you could barely go in that Super Bowl. No, 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 no. You know, uh, you having a rough morning? I don't know. What happened is that uh, uh, uh Eugene, Eugene Robinson. Robinson. Yeah, yeah, he called me and I told him I, I wasn't going to be able to make visit? it. Yeah, Because yeah, okay. I knew something bad was about to happen. I didn't want no parts of that skill. <laughs> okay. Skip, this would be a terrible fit. You know it. The only worst fit that I can see envision Russ playing alongside is James Harden. That's only the, that would be a worse fit than this. This makes no sense. Now, I get why uh, OKC would want to do it because, look, they're in total rebuild mode. Mm. But you and I have talked about this yesterday. We knew this was going to happen because Russ said, you know what? When James Harden wanted to leave, I stayed. When KD walked out the door and you got nothing for him, I stayed. I showed you loyalty. And lo and behold, the way you repay me is that you put me in a trade. You got to move me, because mm. I don't trust you, Sam. Mm. I got the bounce. Good luck. I'm sorry, Skip. Mm. The only basketball team, and y'all was winning. Y'all not about to win for a long time now. Mm. You know what's funny about what you just said? Just thinking about James Harden and Russ. Yeah. I believe Jimmy Butler and Russ would be an even worse fit than James and Russ, only because James has a softer side to him than Jimmy. Jimmy is hard-headed, and <laughs> Russ is the hardest-headed. And at least Harden would try with Russ because remember you get a lot of this, huh? but, a lot but, of butt. Like, like that's what you get in Miami <laughs> right out of the box. But at least James would say, "Well, okay, I'll work with you. I'll try." And remember, they do know each other. Yeah. They're both L.A. kids, yeah. L.A. area kids, yeah. and they came up together in the Thunder system, right? So at least you have some some background together. Winning MVPs. Changes how I, you I know, see I got, I got that. I got that. I just, I'm just saying, they would. James would try for a while to figure out a way to coexist with Russ. It wouldn't work. Okay. But he would try. Jimmy would not try. In fact, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes right now in Miami, but I, I just have this notion that Jimmy Butler might have picked up his phone yesterday and called Pat Riley and said, "If you bring him in, I, I'm out. <laughs> I, I demand a trade, yeah. right? Because we saw." Kevin Durant said, nope, I can't do this. And then we just saw Paul George finally say, I tried for a year and I can't right. do this. And I think Jimmy would say, I don't even want to try for a year. I'm out. I came here to go solo. And I wanted, he's a Dwayne Wade guy. He's a protege. He and, and he wanted to replace Dwayne in Miami. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to be, as you say, the guy. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the guy has to share with, with the, it was last year's second highest usage rate in basketball. Uh -huh. Because Russ is the guy. He yeah. just is. And because he is the point guard, he gets to make every decision as he dribbles the ball up the court. Okay. And that would drive Jimmy Butler even crazier because, as you say, he's an ISO wing player. He's he's like a poor man's Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. And, again, I'm not disrespecting. I have a lot of respect for Jimmy Butler, but he can do some of the things Kevin can do, but he's an ISO player. Yeah. He needs you just to, to say it's your, it's your turn. It's your turn. You go now. Right. And you know how Russ is. No, I'm 
It's my turn. I'm going right. to run through that brick wall, right? right. Watch mm -hmm. this. I'm going to lower my head and run right through the brick wall, <laughs> and I'm going to dunk it or get to the free throw line. Right. But now, if I go big picture, Pat Riley, and I've known him for a long, long time, back to his days as the Lakers coach here, would I do this? I, I would jump through 10 hoops to do this deal because since your man, LeBron, I'm coming home, they have not even been relevant in the Eastern Conference. And remember, the Eastern Conference just got even less. Yeah. It, it took a hit because obviously number two is now in the West. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I look at Philly. Are they as good as they were last year? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They, they lost Jimmy Butler and J.J. Redick, right? They're good. We think they're the favorite. But are they as good as last year? No. I don't believe so. Either. Okay. Milwaukee lost Malcolm Brogdon. Are they quite as good as they were last year? Close, but maybe not quite. Right. Boston's like a shell of itself from last year, right? Okay, so the East is wide open. So Pat Riley's saying, give me marquee. Give me star power. Right. If I if I can pair up these two guys, I don't care if it works or not. I'm just I'm back in business. And plus, Skip, they, they they have to sell Miami. What what really hurt Miami, Skip? If you remember when they trade they traded for Drogic, and the next day the blood clots were discovered in Chris Bosh, mm -hmm. and then they started That's giving terrible. these guys bad contracts, yeah. four year deals. Mm -hmm. Chris Bosh really hurt them because they gave him that they yep. to keep him, and then he had the blood clots, and he really never played again. Mm -hmm. But he got twenty seven, twenty eight million dollars on your payroll. Okay. And then you started shelling out. You gave Tyler Johnson $50 million. Yep. You gave Hassan Whiteside $90 million. That's why D. Wade left. He's like, wait a minute. Yep. You gave a guy that you discovered at the YMCA $92 million, and you told me, I took less to get LeBron. I took less because you wanted KD. I'm not taking less for Hassan Whiteside. Mm -hmm. He dipped. That's why. And so Pat Riley's done a terrible job. He's yep. given some bad contracts to some average guys, and it's come back to bite him. He got so, out from under the... Hassan. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But, but you got out from under that, and then here come the, the rain. You yep. gave your umbrella away, Skip, mm -hmm. and now here come the deluge on you. You got three years, four years, 170 million from Russ. What you gonna do with that? You got four years, 142 with uh with uh, Jimmy Butler. Okay, but at least you'd be marquee relevant <laughs> next year. Okay. Just next year. But you would be trading for an aging superstar. Yes. Who is high collision, high contact. Yes. Who was coming off his fifth knee surgery there was the, I'm talking about Russell just before last year and who proceeded last year to shoot a league worst 29% from the three point line right. and from the free throw line he shot 66% isn't that lebron territory no That's stop like, well it is no it's lebron like, shot better he's at 67. 67 okay well he he was even a tick below lebron at the free throw line you're going to trade for that and because it's only going to get worse with russ you made a very interesting point, Skip Bayless. Both of these guys got what? A lot of wear on those tires. Yep. Ne Check back with me in a couple of years and see if you still mm -hmm. like these contracts. Okay. Russ, 50 million in the five, 47 million, 50 million in the last year of the contract with a player option. Mm -hmm. You like that? For a guy that's, like you said, three knee surgeries, mm -hmm. wear and tear. He's played the way he plays. Jimmy, the way he plays. All those, that mileage that in Chicago, in Minnesota, that uh, uh, t uh, uh, Coach Tibbs put on that body. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yep. Yeah. And now Sam Presti in Oklahoma City is forced to basically say, here, I'll, I'll j just give me anything back right. to make it work. Right. But I don't care what I get back because I am starting over. Because the hard cap, you got to match dollar yeah. for dollar now. Okay. So basically, you got to give up to, uh, Dragic, who has one year left on his contract. Yep. James jo uh, Johnson and yep. Kelly Olynyk, yep, both of those good. have player options. Yep. But I mean, but you only have those guys for one more year, Skip. Yeah. You went, even after this year, you got three more years with mm -hmm. Russ and Jimmy. Yep. Do I like Justice Winslow? Yeah, I like him. He's pretty good. Autobio is he? No, 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 no. Bam, okay. yep. Bam is untouchable. Okay. I'm not getting rid of Bam. Okay. Everybody else. Well, they, you may have to. No, I'm not getting rid of Bam. Okay. No. Yeah, because at some point. I, I can't even make the math work how Miami's going to be able to feel the team with those two guys hey, under their cap. Exactly. Like, are you going to play, like, three on five, four on five? I don't know. Hey, Stacks, get ready. They're about to call you. Really? They're about to go lower the minimum. Really? Yeah. Skip, you got three guys that's making $312 million over the next four years. Mm -hmm. How do you feel the team? Hmm. Okay. So, by the way, we got a perk bomb because our man Kendrick Perkins it was quoted yesterday in the Miami Herald, I believe this was, and he said, I, I talked to Russ, and I think I see him in a Miami Heat jersey. So, obviously, Russ is thinking this is happening, yeah, but right? It's, it's, okay. it's, he, he can't stay. 
Because yeah. he doesn't trust Sam Presti. Remember when it came, we reported that okay. Kyrie That's got... That's funny you said that, because Sam Presti was his biggest he, fan and it, chose him over Kevin Durant. And, and, and Russ said, okay, when KD walked out the door, what would have happened, Skip? When KD walked out the door, Russ says, nah, I ain't signing no extension. Mm -hmm. So you lost James Harden two years before. Mm -hmm. You lose KD, and then a year later, Russ walks out the door. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? He would have crippled OKC. Mm. And the only reason people showed up, Skip, was because of Russ, the triple-double watch. And then he did it again, and then, he did, and then they traded for Paul George. He would have crippled that franchise. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm your guy. And this is what you do me. You was going to include me in a trade to get me up out of here when I stayed. Yep. He, you have to. There's no way he was going to stay. Mm. You know what Presty should have done? He should have traded Russell two years ago when he had... Mm. 